Today I'm gonna to talk about a four-year plan or any program that you're working on. I've been making a four-year plan. I made one in high school and now I've made one in college as well and I'd recommend any freshman make a four-year plan. The four-year plan is a tool to make sure you meet all the requirements to graduate on time. And it roadmaps all the courses that you need to take to finish. It'll help you graduate faster and take more of the courses you want to take or are interested in. Now I'm gonna talk about how do you make a four-year plan. Before putting classes in a spreadsheet, and I do use a spreadsheet, before writing all the classes down that you need to take, start with the degree requirements. Pull up that list, make sure it's saved, and before we map out when, before mapping out when to take all the classes for the program, know what classes you need to take for the program. And so I'd have the requirements. I in, in my spreadsheet, I have the requirements below, and then I have the schedule up top. To make the four-year plan, start with the semesters laid out by year, fall, spring, however your school does it. And then I even would put in your classes that transferred in if you have classes that are transferring in. And then filling out for each class, when you're gonna take each class, and I liked to put the course code, the course name, because sometimes those didn't make sense together. And then also in the requirements section of the program requirements, I would write the semester that I'm taking that course. So then when I'm reviewing the requirements for the program, I can know that I'm meeting all the requirements. Some things to look out for when you're making the four-year plan. For the classes, make sure you're meeting prereqs. Prereqs are one, are one thing that this tool can help alleviate or prevent from missing because you can say, you can check each class by semester and say, okay, for this semester, all the classes I'm taking, are there any prereqs that I haven't previously taken? And if you haven't, you can adjust the plan to know that you'll have all the prereqs taken for the classes that you intend to take. The next thing is when classes are offered. Not all classes are offered all semesters. If your class is only offered in the spring of even years, you can use the four-year plan to map out when you want to take the course and actually take courses that you may have missed if you didn't plan on it otherwise. If you're taking graduate exams, the four-year plan can be adjusted to fit that. So if you're taking a pre-professional exam for law school or medical school or dental school, for example, or even the GRE, you can tailor your semesters to have taken all the classes that you need to or want to take before taking that exam, and then also change or, or possibly shift around classes to have a lower credit hours before those tests so that way you have more time to study for those exams. Now using the four-year plan, it's not hard and fast. In fact, I would rec I rehash mine every single semester. I would make tweaks and adjustments to the four-year plan. As interests change, as classes change, even my program changed, or if I'm thinking about changing majors, it can make a whole new plan to see what is this gonna look like if I take this degree versus this degree, and it really clarifies that decision-making process between two programs. So those are all benefits of making one of these, and classes change, programs can change, but having a plan to start from instead of starting from scratch and being confused every time you enroll, this tool makes it really easy to figure out what you need to take when, and you know that you're gonna graduate on time with all the classes that you need to take. And finally, it isn't hard and fast. These can change, interests change, desires to what you wanna do change, and it's, it's like the calendar. It's just a direction, but don't feel beholden to having to do that. The four-year plan is a way to map out the time while you're in a graduate program and making sure you finish. If you're interested in taking over your day-to-day -day time, go look at the calendar video. That would be helpful to you as well.